hey guys it's your girl Jay Antoinette welcome back to another video so by the title guys you can tell I am going to be talking about some lifestyle tips and habits that you can use to improve your PCOS symptoms and really get your life back on track so guys if you're interested in this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get straight into this video so many of you know um, by now that I myself do have PCOS. If you really want to get into my PCOS journey, my PCOS story, I have a whole playlist. Don't worry, I'll link it above so that you can go ahead and pause this video and just get back on track with where I am in my journey. So guys, I have had um, PCOS since I was in my college. I was diagnosed in college and it has been a journey. It has been ups, it has been downs, it has been highs and lows. But through all of that, I have found things that have actually helped me to get to where I am now in terms of my weight, getting my cycle back on track, my eating habits and all of that. So I'm at a really good place physically and mentally and just all of that with my body right now. So I just really wanted to share my tips with you guys. I recently restarted my wellness journey um, earlier this year and I am proud to tell you guys that I have been doing excellent so guys my first tip that I want to get into and I really want to talk about to just improve yourself and improve your PCOS symptoms is exercise now I have found exercise to be one of those constants that has really helped me to improve not only just my cycle but my weight as well as you know many women who have PCOS do struggle with abdominal weight not necessarily your entire body but just specifically abdominal weight and you may be wondering what this is caused by this is particularly caused by insulin resistance and if you are noticing these kind of symptoms it may be that you have insulin resistant PCOS which is the type of PCOS that I have so when I noticed that I started gaining a few more pounds I was not really comfortable and I told myself, you know, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to try and work out every single day. When I'm tired, I will take my rest breaks and I will do things that I like while I'm working out, not things that are not going to actually make me feel excited to work out. So I have been using Emmy Wong's workouts and it has helped me really. It has really greatly helped me. So I started off first by doing light cardio and just working on my full body. And now I'm at a place now where I can work on specific areas that I really think need more work. So like right now I'm working on particularly like my thighs and I'm working on my glutes as well and my abdominal area. So guys, exercise is really important. Slow weighted workouts are much better for persons who have PCOS but as I always say find what works for you do what works for you you don't have to necessarily follow what other persons do say on the internet because everybody's body is completely different but I will tell you that you need to find out what works for you and I have found that these particular type of exercises work with my body and I have seen results so the first time I actually weighed myself I was about 215 and then I weighed again and I went down to 203 and as of today I am 189 guys so I can tell that these workouts and that me exercising consistently has really helped with me with my weight and with my cycle as well next i want to talk about diet guys diet is one of those really sticky things because restrictive diets are not really good for persons who have PCOS. um so it is really hard to talk about diet and as i said before it's really important to know what you need for your body so particularly for me i am not on any specific diet i do sometimes do intermittent fasting which i have realized has helped me and um i i'm not really religious about it meaning that it's not something that i have to follow up daily like it's not something that i'm consistently always like oh i need to be doing this or you know so i don't really have a particular diet but what i have really cut out for myself is not eating um as much fast food as i used to and trying my best not to eat as much meat so those are some diet tips that i use particularly you don't necessarily have to use those but i will encourage you guys to get a lot more fruit and vegetables into your diet I do struggle with the fruit aspect because it's just not something that I am I really have an affinity to like I'm not really a lover of fruit give me a bowl of um 
spinach and i'll eat it like i love spinach that's just me but i am not really a fruit fan per se so i do like to encourage persons who do talk to me about their peacock symptoms to just really try and incorporate a lot more fruits and vegetables because we need a lot of those minerals and a lot of those supplements that are in those fruits and vegetables so they really help they really help our symptoms so it's important that you are incorporating that into your diet guys supplements are are so important if you have PCOS and I have emphasized this on my channel a lot I really do talk about the supplements that I take personally a lot and I just really want to emphasize that again guys that supplementing is really important when you have PCOS now as I said before it's really important to know the type of PCOS you have and the type of symptoms that you need to work on so for example as I said I have insulin resistant PCOS so that calls for things to help me to lower my sugar levels getting my metabolic system back on track and also helping to get things to regularize my menstrual cycle which I was having a really really hard time with recently so guys these are some of the supplements that I use I do take this dim complex you guys can get this on Amazon I will link all of these things in the description box below and this helps with your estrogen levels I do take this loving libido and this has a combination of ashwagandha damaniana and maca root and all of those two things are really good for your cortisol levels for your libido for vaginal dryness if you do experience that and it's just an overall um, supplement to just really help with stress levels which is something that really um, attacks women who have PCOS. So if you have anxiety, if you have stress, if you have low libido and you just don't have that drive, this is something that can really help you with that. I do also take these cinnamon capsules, which is really, really good because it has chromium combined with it as well. And chromium, if you don't know, guys, helps to lower your sugar levels, which is really good for persons who have insulin resistant PCOS. So if you do notice that you have those symptoms that are closer to insulin resistant PCOS, and I will also say, guys, don't forget to always consult your doctor. Get some blood work done so that you definitely do know what is going on with your body. So I do take this as well and it has really helped with my sugar levels and just really getting rid of abdominal weight as well and in terms of a uh, multivitamin guys this is the multivitamin that i take it is a prenatal and it has dha it has all of the minerals all of the substances that you need in it which is really why i went for this one it has a c d3 e k thiamine riboflavin niacin b6 b12 it has a whole host of things in there guys it's just really power packed and good and i take a capsule of this every single day and that's what really helps my fatigue my my lethargy and stuff like that and really just keeps me going throughout the day so aside from natural substances guys i do take jardians as well now jardians is something that i've been taking for about three to four months now i did vow myself that i would never take conventional medicine again after i had my experience with metformin i really just threw that out the door but jardians is really good guys jardians works basically by taking the sugar out of your system and allowing you to urinate it out so you don't have as much side effects as you would have had with like when you take metformin so you can talk to your doctor about this and ask them if it's best for you guys i do want to also talk about just really consistently knowing your body so i particularly use the flow app and the flow app has really helped me to just track my cycles track my ovulation know when certain things are not right and know when my my cycle is going off or something is going wrong with my body so as i told you recently guys i went back on a wellness journey this was because i had missed my period for a very long time i had no period and i also do have a video on that where i talk about how i use cinnamon to get my my cycle back so i had missed my period for a very long time and as you can see here i hadn't had a cycle it was like cycles were non-existent and it went on for i think 72 days until i finally got my cycle after i took cinnamon and as of now i have consistently had my cycles they have all been for the length of 34 days and a normal cycle is between 21 to 35 days so i am within the normal range which i'm really happy for and um 
yes so i have noticed a real improvement in that i normally used to have like really extremely painful periods but what i have noticed for myself particularly is that on the first day i would have a painful period but after that I don't really have as much cramping and pain as I used to and I really want to attribute that to just really having a balanced lifestyle of having a routine of having exercise incorporated so I do exercise every single morning guys that's what I found that works best for me and I do incorporate a lot more protein into my diet a lot more vegetables into my diet as I did say earlier guys I do intermittent fasting but it's not really something that I'm really just on i take my supplements i drink lots of water but one thing that i do want to talk about guys that i really haven't mastered for myself just yet is getting proper sleep now persons who have PCOS have a really hard time sleeping we have insomnia and we struggle from that and i have noticed that magnesium does help me with that I did supplement and try it for myself and it really did help me to have a better sleeping cycle so I do need to get back into that and if that's something that you want to try as I said guys always talk to your doctor so that you can get proper information from them as well and they can give you advice as to if this really is for you or not so I have noticed that but I do need to really work on my sleep cycle because that also really helps your symptoms so as I said to you guys earlier I I'm currently at 189 pounds. My weight goal is 170, so I am getting there slowly but surely. And that's the thing with PCOS. We do struggle with seeing results quick, so there's no quick fix. You really have to just stay consistent, which is what I really tell a lot of persons. I have noticed that also apple cider vinegar has helped me as well. I do have a video on that as you, if you guys want to view that as well. I do take apple cider, um, apple cider vinegar in the mornings and the evenings as well particularly before a meal and i have realized that that has helped me drastically with my weight loss so i'm seeing weight loss i'm having consistent cycles i have ovulated naturally guys both cycles back to back i have ovulated naturally which is a really good sign so i wouldn't necessarily say i have healed my PCOS but I would say that I am on a good track of wellness and you can get there as well too. So I really want to encourage you guys to just be mindful stay consistent and find what works for you so i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video this is the end of the video and i really thank you for stopping by watching and also just taking some tips from it for yourself so if you did like this video guys don't forget to give it a good thumbs up leave me a comment down below tell me what you want to see and if you do want to interact with me here on my socials you can go ahead and reach out to me there and ask me any questions or anything that you need clarity on once again guys thank you so much for watching i love you all so much thank you thank you thank you for all the love and support that you pour into my channel all right guys so see you in the next video bye my loves